Hey what's up guys, this is Sky for Slime 5 here doing a what's on my 3DS video. This is going to be the first one. I'm thinking about doing this annually. Let me know if you guys enjoy this in the comment section down below. But I've actually had this 3DS since 2013. I bought it used off Amazon. And this actually is a bundle edition. So this one came pre-installed with Super Mario 3D Land. So it came with the game already and I thought it was a pretty decent value. I did buy it used because I didn't think paying full price was worth it but it actually came in a really really great condition and it seems like they made the 3DS systems hold up very well with drops and then this is a kid friendly console so that's a good thing so it held up to usage pretty well very little scratches so if you notice because this is a bundle it actually doesn't come with that three-tone design so this is all completely the same color here's a comparison between this one and also the regular red one that doesn't have uh, a game pre-installed in it you can see it has that different tone in color I personally do prefer that difference in color but whatever I thought this was a great deal so without further ado let's just go ahead and take a look at what I have on here so as you can see I have a lot of games. These are all downloaded. I like to have download games that way I don't have to worry about carrying a bunch of cartridges with me. And of course in these folders I also have some virtual console games that are from past like Game Boys and NES and stuff like that. So I'll be going over that in this video. And I'll be also going over what theme this is and other themes I have at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So, as I mentioned, I have almost all my games downloaded, except for the cartridge, which is Mario Kart 7. But I do plan to actually buy the software, a uh, downloadable one, so then I would eventually just sell this cartridge. Rather have all my games all together. Okay, so let's just start from left to right. So first off, let me just go ahead and F when I introduce each game, I'll just play the little pre-screen sound. So, first one is... Mario Kart 7, and that's of course the cartridge game that I have. Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario 3D Land that came pre installed. No Super Mario Brothers 2. 2, the new one. And also, I'm just going to quickly put this in that even though it seems like I'm probably really rich or something to buy all these games, but actually, I got the majority of these games for free. Right now, scrolling on the screen is actually, I keep track of all the games that I have gotten. And actually, the ones that are starred are the only ones that I paid my actual money for, and that would be The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, as well as Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. And all the other ones I got... Uh, via certain methods including Club Nintendo when they had it, promotions, and other ways. And I have already made two videos of how I got some of my Nintendo games for free. One right here and another one I just made right there using Amazon Prime. If you guys are interested in how you can also get 3DS games for free, make sure you check out those videos. But without dabbling too much, let's go ahead and continue on with our what's on my 3DS video. So next up are Pokemon, we have Pokemon X, this one is actually a promotion, it was basically to buy a few games, I think back in 2014 or something like that, and then you could actually get Pokemon X for free. And then Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon Moon. I'm thinking about getting Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun probably next year. I'll probably show up on my next video. But I also heard that it was kind of uh, not exactly a worthy upgrade, but we'll see. And then we also have Super Mystery Dungeon. I didn't bother getting the previous one because I heard it was just really bad. Now we get to my Zelda series 3DS game. So Ocarina of Time, one of the games I actually paid for. Awesome game. Majora's Mask 3D. I mean, Between Worlds, also a great game. There's another one that I paid for, Duo Destinies. And then the original trilogy. And Spirit of Justice. So those are my three Ace Attorney games. And now here are my various other 3DS games that I got. 
This one was one of the rewards I got from Club Nintendo, Donkey Kong Returns 3D. Kick Icarus Uprising, also a Club Nintendo a Redemption. Actually, all three of these are Club Nintendo Redemptions. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Super Smash Bros. And the controller for the Wii U. I don't know why I bothered getting this one. I think it was one of those promo things that they have currently for their membership for the new Club Nintendo. I forgot what this thing is. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the my Nintendo now, yeah, so I use one of my coins to uh, get that one, even though I don't have a Wii U, but whatever, it was like expiring. And Street Fighter 4, this one actually I got really recently because it was recently on sale for only like 8 bucks, so that was a pretty good deal. This one I wouldn't normally purchase on my own. Again, I got this through like Club Nintendo. But I found that actually playing through the game is actually pretty addictive. If you guys want like a really cheap starter game, this is definitely one to get. I also have Kirby Fighter Deluxe. This is actually a mini game in the full series. It was, what was it called? Kirby... Triple Deluxe, that's right, I always forget about that one. I do plan on purchasing that, but for the time being, I have the mini game separately, Kirby Fighter Deluxe. And then now I have the 3D Classics, so basically these are remixes and made to have 3D effect. Kirby's Adventure. Kid Icarus. And of course, Excite Bite. And now in this folder, I have my virtual console games. So these are just uh, rehashed games that are ported over to the 3DS. So I have, of course, Pokemon Yellow. Also have the Pokemon trading card game, which is actually quite addictive. I never played the original one, so that was actually quite a surprise for me. And then now I have my three Zelda games. Got the original Zelda. Zelda 2 Adventure Link. Uh, the Awake Link's Awakening Deluxe. And we have, of course, Oracle Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I do also like that they put the original release date right there. And, of course, you have the cute little uh, cartridge there. And actually, something I noticed is if you press, like, if you move your screen back and forth like this, it will actually rotate the icon. Just a little something. Okay, moving on. Is Super Mario Land, so now are my Mario related virtual console games. I also have the second one, Six Golden Coins, Super Mario Bros, Bros 3, Metroid, and Metroid 2. I believe those are the only two available virtual console games right now. And Wario Land 2, Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters. I also recently got this one. This is Mega Man Legacy Collection. So it basically has uh, Mega Man 1 through 6 combined in this new game package. So this originally retails for I think around $16, but it's on sale right now. You can get it for $6. So if you guys are interested in Mega Man, I would jump on this deal. Okay, and now I have my special demos. So these special demos, as opposed to regular demos, means they have unlimited uses so you can open these as many times as you want so for comparison I have these regular demos you can see they have uses remaining so I got the original Sun and Moon special demo I have the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Omega de uh, special demo Monster Hunter 4 Ultimates and Super Smash Bros uh, Triforce Heroes and then these aren't really demos, but they are basically have in-app paid content, so I kind of put them in the same folder. These aren't games I like ever play, but I thought they were interesting to still have. And these are some demo games that I th may or may not eventually get the full version. I definitely really like Bravely Default. Uh, and Fire Emblem Awakening. A lot of people seem to like this game. If you guys think I should get it, let me know in the comment section down below. But when I played the demo, I wasn't really that impressed. And I also definitely think I want to pick up uh, Dream Team sometime. The rest of these, not so great. 
This one I played, I really didn't like it, so I didn't bother getting it. And then here are some of the stock apps, I'm not going to bother showing those. But, in terms of non-game content, I have Flipno Studio 3D, and also Swapno, which neither of these actually I ever really use, I just get them through like promotions. And, this is a free app that you can also download, this is to transfer your saved content on your cartridge to directly to your SD card, so that would be handy for me once I actually buy the downloadable version of Mario Kart 7, which will be coming next year, so I'll definitely make a video a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my theme in the more detail. So this is actually the Zelda 30th Anniversary Edition Wallpaper Skin. So the, if you don't know, um, every single wallpaper skin on a 3DS have this designated music. If you can hear a little bit more clearly, it has like the fairy fountain theme playing in the background. And then what's really cool about this one is that when you scroll around, it will change the background here. Not all of them change background like that. So it's just basically a panorama of a mirage. Is it called mirage? No, collage. My bad. Collage of different characters ranging through the whole Legend of Zelda series. Just to celebrate the 30th anniversary, which I think is really neat. And also, another thing with each theme is that they have app launching sounds. So. Let me just go ahead and launch an app for you guys. Let's say you hear that like ching sound. So that's pretty neat too. So that's the theme that I usually have on right now. Sometimes I may want to switch things up. So I do have other themes on here. So this one, this Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, I did a video on that because I did a pre-order and one of the perks of pre-ordering it is that you can get the Super the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon theme. And I think these two are free, the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and also the Sonic Boom theme. And of course you got your basic colors as well built in. So you can get these two for free in the theme shop. These two you'll probably have to pay at this point. And also if you have my Nintendo, you can also accumulate enough coins to redeem for themes so there's also that I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to try to sign up for that so as a closing I thought I'd show you guys my software management page so here if you don't know you can go to the settings on your 3ds and you can see the stuff that you have on here and how many blocks that they take up I don't really know why they chose to use blocks because that's so arbitrary we always usually go by you know uh, bytes or megabytes gigabytes so right now I have a 32 gigabyte SD card installed and I currently have apparently 43,000 blocks open which basically translates to about uh, 9 gigabytes approximately because the last time I backed my stuff up it seemed like I was transferring 23 gigabytes worth of data so I still have about 9 gigabytes of room left to download more stuff so that's always good. So that's pretty much it for this what's on my 3DS video. If you guys want to see something else more specific in a later video, then make sure you just comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyforce95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyforce95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse, or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyforce95. Thanks for watching.